Hi guys, here's my dry hair blend. Once again, this blend is based on research and what I think will work best for my hair. And of course the herbs that I had on hand. There's no great science behind why I use a cup with some herbs and half a cup with others. It was just a question of how much of each herb I had on hand. I decided to combine high mucilage herbs like marshmallow root and mullein leaf with strengthening herbs like burdock root, nettle, and parsley, along with soothing herbs like lavender, sage, chamomile, and calendula to create a balanced blend. My first experiment with this blend is an apple cider vinegar infusion, in which I infuse the herbs in apple cider vinegar. This way, whenever I do apple cider vinegar rinses, which is very often because I use the black soap, which is too alkaline, I will also get the benefits of these herbs sort of killing uh, two birds with one stone. It takes about four weeks to infuse, so a video of that infusion will be up when it's ready. You'll notice that some of these herbs are repeated since they already appear in the growth blend, but that's the beauty of herbs. They are multi-purpose. Here's a link to the growth blend in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Aside from rinses, I will use herbal tea from this blend to mix my Indian powders. I'm also curious to see what happens when I grind these herbs to a powder and use them as a hair mask. This blend is much more colorful and vibrant in comparison to the growth blend. It smells great too. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon on YouTube Land. Bye!